After more than a century of silence, the majestic blue-gray sea whales are making a triumphant return to Argentina's Patagonian coast. This awe-inspiring sight is a testament to the power of global conservation and a celebration of nature's resilience. In the 1920s and 30s, sea whales were relentlessly hunted for their oil, meat and baleen. Their oil was used in margarine and soap, the meat as food, and baleen in products like corsets. This drove the species to the brink of extinction. But over the last 50 years, global bans on commercial whaling have paved the way for their remarkable comeback. Biologist Mariano Coscarella leads Proyecto Sei, a research project dedicated to studying these giants. His team has equipped sea whales with satellite trackers to map their extensive migrations. What you have to bear in mind with this species is that they are a migrant species and swim for long journeys. So even though the species is seen in a country's jurisdictional waters, it impacts the regions where the species is found as it moves around. In the case of the say whale, which we're studying, populations are starting to bounce back as the moratorium is still in force. Sea whales are crucial to marine ecosystems. They help maintain healthy ocean environments by regulating the food chain and aiding carbon sequestration. Their recovery is a direct result of enforced moratoriums. It is a message of hope in the sense that when we all reach an agreement and protect the species, and we understand exploitation can't be infinite nor Olympic, we can be successful in the recovery of these species. However, challenges remain. On May 9th, Japan announced it would add large fin whales to its commercial whaling list, which already includes the sea whale. Japan, Norway and Iceland continue hunting whales, citing tradition and economic reasons. This complicates global conservation efforts. Worldwide, the whaling issue is complex. Global bans have helped some species recover, but others still face threats from resumed hunting. The disappearance of whales would disrupt marine ecosystems and impact biodiversity. Whaling, as described in Moby Dick, was a relentless pursuit driven by the desire for oil, meat and baleen. The story of Captain Ahab's obsession with the great white whale in the tale warns us about the dangers of hunting without limits and the harm it causes. Today, we're seeing the positive side of this lesson. When we choose to protect whales instead of hunting them, nature can recover and thrive.